Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Q, and today we're going to talk about DJ.beatport.com. Before we get to that, please like and subscribe. Hit the comment section down below. Help me out with the algorithm. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can buy something from my t-shirt shop at teespring.com, a DJ Keel store. And if you are absolutely dead broke and you have no money, you can support the channel by just letting the ads play. All right, <laughs> let's get into this. This is the most bonkers thing that I've seen from Beatport to date. Uh, they've created an app, a web-based app, which is a DJ software. It's not DVS, but it's MIDI-based, and it'll run with most controllers. Honestly, it'll, it'll run with a lot of your controllers. And if it doesn't run with your controller, you can just mini-map it to make it work. But like the fact that they made it in the first place is insane to me. I give them credit for it, but also they have other work they should be working on too. But I, uh, I digress. This is not about that. Um, <laughs> so they've created a web-based DJ app, which integrates into your, your music library and it allows you to organize your stuff uh, a lot better. And you kind of do it on the fly and you can make your playlist like how you would normally do it on Serato or Rekordbox or Virtual DJ, whatever. But you're doing it with the music that's in the cloud. So that's the fascinating point about this. Uh, I had some interesting takes about it, but like, I'm totally for this. I think this is really, really cool. There's a couple things that uh, you need to be aware of when you're looking at this DJ software. Because it is technically DJ software. It's just in the cloud. Uh, first things first, it only works on Chrome. And if you have any other web browser, it'll be finicky or it'll just not going to work at all. So if you're on Windows, you can use Edge or just download Chrome. And I think everybody on Mac OS is using Chrome anyway, so <laughs> it is what it is. Second thing is that the mini mapping is basic at best, which is understandable because this thing's in a web browser and I don't expect it to have the full mini mapping of, you know, Tractor or something like that, the full the full gambit of stuff that you can do for MIDI mapping. So I don't expect that. The third thing that came to mind when I was looking at this is that DJ software is bloated. <laughs> There's no other way. There is no way around this. Tractors, 600, 500 megabyte download. Serato's same thing. But you can do pretty much 80%. And I'm being, it's a rough estimate, all right? I would say a rough 80% of the stuff that you do in your DJ software, you can do in this browser. Just think about that for a second. 80%. Playing two songs together, no problem. Effects, no problem. Having a sound effect when you stop your song and make it sound like a turntable, no problem. So there's a bunch of things you can do in your web browser that requires your official app to be 700 megabytes for on a download. This is ridiculous. All of this DJ software it needs to be rewritten from the ground up. And I know it's going to be hard and do a lot of heavy lifting. We're basically piling on bloated stuff every update and it just gets bigger and bigger and slower and slower. There is no reason for this. There should be a basic light version of the official pro software because I don't even think most DJs use half of the crap that's in the software, but the fact that the software is getting so big and so slow and cumbersome to use and requires more and more power when you can do basically the same thing on a web browser, it should alarm everybody who's a DJ that something's off here. They've used the same code from the 32-bit version up into the 64-bit version, and it's just only gotten bigger and bigger. It should be more efficient in 64-bit because you have more access to memory and all this other stuff. I don't want to get I don't want to get bogged down in the weeds. But point is, your DJ software is bloated and it shouldn't be. This only works on Beatport <laughs> link. It doesn't work on BeatSource. I'm subscribed to BeatSource. I have to go make an account on Beatport link to do this thing. How much heavy lifting was it to just make it work on both? I don't I don't know the minutiae about that. So I'm not gonna get into that. I don't know. It could have been easy, could be some kind of thing they got to deal with, licensing, I don't know, but it should be on both. Actually, no, forget that. Beatport and Beatsource should be the same thing. 
everybody who's a mobile DJ, they play house music. I play house music. I'm a mobile DJ. Now, granted, the stuff that I play was going to be in source, but I don't think that there should be a separation here. Now, I will say this, though. If you were going to merge the two, you can leave those beatport prices over there at the door. All right, I digress. I digress. Q points are transferable. So if you make your Q points in the, the app, when you download the song into your browser on your computer, it'll still work. It'll be fine. I mean, that's, all that stuff's cool. The, the concept here is cool. I like it. I think, I think it was Phil that said that there should be a mobile app. I agree. I, I agree. Uh, you should have Spotify version of of BeatSource and Beatport. So I need an app that I can listen to music offline and I can organize and do my stuff and do my cue points and stuff like that on my phone. We need that. We need to get on that. Probably before we needed DJ software, we needed that. But I'm happy they're both here. Or one of them's here, and I hope the other one comes soon. I would really like to only have to have one uh, streaming service. I got Tidal and BeatSource. I would really like to only have BeatSource. I'm just saying. But I can't do that because I need an app. I need to be able to listen to music offline. And those two things you can't do. I think, and I, I'll say this personally. I know it's not the, the people at Beatport that are doing this stuff or BeatSource. I know it's not them. The labels are, they're doing damage on these guys, man. They're absolutely doing damage. The the hoops they have to jump through versus Tidal and Spotify don't have to. It's ridiculous. They should Making a mobile app should be easy as pie. Everything should transfer over. And if you got your, you paying your $14 a month or $9 a month, whatever it is, it should just work. You should get all that too. If you want to charge more, cool, but you should just get that. That goes without saying. They need an app. They need an app for your phone. And this is more of a rant about Beatport as a company, but you need a mobile app on your phone and you need to be able to do all of this stuff, the basics, setting your cue points, making playlists on the go on your phone. You need to do all this stuff. Now you can kind of do it on a, the web browser, but it's not as robust as the full screen with everything else because it wasn't designed for that. So, I mean, that goes without saying. It, and it's just easier. I think I'm repeating myself, but, like, that's the point. It's just easier. And you know everyone's going to use it. Nobody wants to do find these songs on a, a laptop. Nobody wants to do that. Now, if I'm on a plane, when you can fly again, <laughs> if I'm on a plane... And I'm just listening to my music before I land or whatever. And I can just boom, boom, boom. I put the songs in my library. This song goes in this playlist. This one goes in this playlist. Yes. <laughs> Give me that. And be able to just download as many songs into my phone and then figure out what I want to do with them later on. Yes. Absolutely yes. There shouldn't be another set of licensing fees and all this other crap just to make this happen. I feel like we need to get together. And and head down. No, don't do that. But we need to talk to the record labels and be like, hey, DJ's lives matter too. All right. <laughs> I mean, offense, but like I'm just saying, like we need to do something to let the labels know they're ridiculous what they're doing here. DJs are important. You should support them the same way you support everything else. I, I think I made my point. Let me know what you guys think about this. You think it's a cool app, cool browser. Are you guys using BeatSource? Are you guys even bothering to go into Beatport? Are you still in Tidal? Are you still on Spotify? Whatever. Let me know in the comment section down below. Anyways, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, peace out, guys.